Hello, hello, and welcome back once again to Colorado, and today we're going to take care of the String Quartet Challenge that basically entails killing all four of our main targets with the fiber wire. Because of that, we will also get the Piano Man Challenge, something I've been holding back on. I would normally get rid of the, the four main challenges there quite early, but I've waited for this one because I knew that the String Quartet Challenge was coming up. So for this, we are going to be bringing with us some coins at the start. Uh, I'll make you six Seeker One Gun, uh, Fiber Wire, obviously, and of course our trusty lockpick. So, from the start, right off the bat, what we're going to do is make our way into the farm complex itself via this window. And just to our left, we will find our coins stashed up and one extra coin on the floor. So we're going to grab all of them, make our way out of the hut and round to our right where we will follow the outer fence all the way round to the right where we will come to a sizable red barn. We're going to make our way in through the window of the red barn and up over the hay bales. And if the, the guard at the bottom there has his back to us, we're free to continue round. And behind these hay bales here, we will find ourselves a radio. So we're going to turn the radio on and then off again and hide behind the hay baler. And that's going to attract the attention of one of the demolitions experts. He's going to come round and investigate. And when he does, we're going to move up on his left hand shoulder and we're going to knock him out. Now I said the left hand shoulder, just so it, you subdue him more behind the hay bales that way. But with him unconscious, we're now going to drop him into the hay baler and take his outfit. So we're now going to make our way over to part of the apricot farm. So we're going to just exit the demolition area and hang a right, uh, left even. And we're going to make our way right back pretty much to the start of the mission. To one of the exits here and we'll find a little shed just on our right. And on the shelf in the shed we will find the ATV keys. So with those keys now acquired we're going to make our way over to the removals vans and acquire ourselves a change of outfit, namely that of the Elite Guard, so that we can now access the farmhouse itself. And that's just up inside the removals van here. We're just gonna wait for that guy so he's not looking. The guys behind you don't matter, they won't spot you. And once we have our outfit on, we're gonna make our way up the ramp into the farmhouse area round to our right slightly over the balcony and in through the side window just to avoid the cameras over all of the doors. Uh, once inside we're going to make our way to the basement door. We're going to lockpick the basement door and enter into the basement area and down here we will find a guard. So what we're going to do here is just sneak up behind him knock him out as quickly as we can. Be aware of Ezra Berg who does frequent this area. So if he's nowhere around then it's good, good to go. If he's around you may have to wait it out. Now, as you saw there I overdosed the prisoner. That was a complete accident. I didn't mean to do that. But uh, when Ezra Berg does return it does prove to be somewhat beneficial. So with the guard now unconscious and safely stashed away in a crate in the corner of the room, we're going to make our way to the foot of the stairs, await Ezra Berg, who for some reason isn't accompanied by his bodyguard. And I think that has something to do with overdosing the prisoner. So that saved us a few minutes. So we're just going to sneak up behind him, pull out our fibre wire, and we're going to throttle Ezra Berg. And because his bodyguard never arrived, Ezra Berg has been eliminated. Good work, Fortis. There's space in the crate for Ezra. So with Ezra Berg now taken care of, that's one down and three to go. We're just going to pick up all the bits and pieces he drops. We don't need any of it though. And we're going to make our way up into the farmhouse itself. 
and we're going to select our make you sick dark gun the seeker one and we're going to make our way into the server room and we're going to shoot the guard on the surveillance system with the make you sick dark gun he will get sick he will come past us and the server and he will go over into the corner of the room where the windows are just to our right uh, to be sick in a bin and we can pounce on him and knock him out so here he comes now and once he's in position we're just going to crouch down knock him out and his body will be nicely tucked away here out of anyone's sight so now we're going to make our way over to the hoover that's just by the door we came in and we're going to wait behind the server for one of the hackers in the next room to get distracted by it he's going to come in and turn it off and when he does we're going to knock him out and put him with the guard over in the corner of the room so once he comes over we're going to get in position behind him once the hoover's off knock him out and then we're just going to drag him over behind the cooling systems here or the air fans or whatever they are I've no idea they look like some sort of deep sea rover things so we're just going to make sure his body's nicely tucked up um, I'm not overly happy with that let's see if we can't grab his feet can we grab his feet Come on, we can grab his feet. I'm sure we can. There we go. We're Agent 47 Anubis. So with that hacker taken care of, we have one more hacker to deal with in the next room. But as you can see, both Sean Rose and Penelope Graves have now entered the building. And we have literally no choice now but to wait. At the very least for Penelope Graves to leave and for Sean Rose to make his way upstairs. So we're just going to go and get ourselves in a little bit of a better position. We can go and stand over by the surveillance system and wait this out. Now, unfortunately, Graves and Rose have now met and are going to have a conversation, so that's delayed us slightly longer. But Rose is now moving away. He will make his way upstairs. Penelope Graves will exit the building. So we're going to once again select our make you sick dark gun. You can sneak up behind this guy and drag him down into the basement. But we're going to shoot him with our final make you sick dark gun seeker one bullet. And he will make his own way into the basement. Now at this point I wasn't quite sure of where he was going to go to be sick. So I'm slightly hesitant to move. I'm not going to get ahead of him or anything like that I'm going to wait for him to go where he's going to go and it is the basement so we're just going to chase him down the stairs very very quickly and we're going to knock him out at the bottom of the stairs here so that's everybody on the ground floor we need out of the way now out of the way just going to drag his body over towards the boiler just so that anyone at the top of the stairs won't see him so our next target will be Sean Rose as he is still in the building so on our way upstairs we're going to go past the surveillance system and take that out for our exit so we don't have to worry about jumping through windows with that taken care of we are now going to make our way up the stairs as the opportunity is presenting itself as Sean Rose is entering into the bathroom as we speak it looks and the enforcer is out of our way so we're just going to run up the stairs and round to the door for Sean Rose's bathroom lock pick the door select our fiber wire jump inside and throttle Sean Rose Sean Rose confirmed down. Nicely done, 47. So with Sean Rose now taken care of, that is two down, one to go. And we're just going to hang around in the bathroom area here for the patrolling enforcer to make his way over to the children's bedroom. And 
once he's clear we're free to exit the bathroom make our way back downstairs and we're going to head back down towards the basement so we've got our next target will be making her way over here shortly and that is Penelope Graves so we're just going to wait inside the basement door stair or stairs door we're going to select our fiber wire and we're just going to wait for the arrival of Penelope Graves and when she arrives she's going to go through her routine in the war room area or the planning room and she's going to come back past the basement door on her way out of the building and when she does that's when we're going to open the basement door pounce on her with our fiber wire and drag her into the basement so here she comes now and just as she's passing the door we're going to open the door throttle her with the fiber wire and drag her down the stairs Graves is down. Excellent work, 47. And we're just going to leave her with the guard. We'll make it look like a uh, murder-suicide pact. So with three of our targets down, that just leaves Maya Pavati, who most unfortunately does not come anywhere near this building. So we're going to have to go to her. Checking that this surveillance system is down before exiting through the main front doors. And we're going to make our way over to the water tower area. And we're going to get ourselves the point man disguise. So once we get to the water tower, we're just going to make our way inside the hut at the bottom. And straight into the bathroom and we're going to overflow the sink and once the sink's starting to overflow we're going to plug ourselves up in the corner behind the door and await the arrival of one of the point men to come and deal with the flood so once he's inside the room we're going to close the door behind him we're going to crouch down wait for him to turn the tap off and then we're going to knock him out and we're going to take his outfit now with his outfit now acquired we can make our way over to the big red barn so we're going to exit the bathroom and close the door behind us and we're just going to make a beeline for the big red barn where they're having their tactical training and we're going to make our way straight in the main entrance and as soon as we're through this big barn door, we're going to hang a right and round to this little secluded area here where we will find one of the point men. And we're just going to wait for him to make his way past us. So he's just going to stop here. And once he's done here, he will make his way off towards the left of the screen. And then we can pounce on him and knock him out. So that's him unconscious and we're just going to drag his body around following the wall to avoid anyone looking at us and hide his body in the crate provided. We're now going to collect his gun and we're going to put that in the gun case next to the crate. It can be a little fiddly. So now we're going to set up our trap. So we're going to select our coins which we have four and we're going to drop three of them on the floor a few feet apart making sure that the third one is at least around here somewhere hey, you. Now, as you saw Maya Pavati saw me drop that third coin I was hoping she'd come over and investigate but she didn't so we're going to select our fourth coin and we're going to throw it over at the start of our little coin trail and Maya Pavati will send someone over to investigate she's going to send one of the guards over he's the only other guard in the area and when he comes over he's going to start spotting the coins and when he starts moving to pick the coins up we are going to position ourselves behind him and when he goes to pick up the fourth and final coin we will then pounce on him and knock him out as well 
So he's picked up one coin. And that's coin go. number two. And coin number three. Oh, where is he going? Yep, yeah, there's coin number three. Yes, sir. And when he goes for coin number four, we're just going to crouch down, knock him out. And we're going to, once again, drag his body around the wall and put him in the crate. Collecting all of our coins as well, because we will need them again. So once we've got him, drag him around the wall. Nice wide berth, just so that no one will see. Get him in the crate. And we're just going to rinse and repeat for a second time. Grabbing his gun, hide it in the crate over here. There we go, and we're going to reset the trap exactly the same way. So we're going to drop three coins on the floor here, a few feet apart. The first, third one nicely visible. Plug ourselves back up behind the blast wall and wait for the arrival of Maya Pavati. And when she arrives and gets to her desk where she's drinking her bottle of water, we will take our fourth coin and throw it over at the start of the trail. And that will distract Maya Pavati, and she will come over and spot all of the coins. Wow. So when she goes to move in and pick up the coins, we will go in to attack. Once again, waiting for her to get to the fourth coin. But unfortunately, when she gets to the fourth coin, she spots the guns and immediately moves away to warn yes, a guard so we have to be very quickly and pounce on her and it does kind of ruin this cinematic effect so she's just picking up the third coin now she's moving towards the fourth coin spots the gun and ignores the fourth coin and walks right past it so we're just going to pounce on her really really quickly with our fiber wire and we're just going to drag her behind these boxes here Maya Parvati is down. Good work. So there you go. That will get you the String Quartet Challenge and the Piano Man Challenge. You'll get the Piano Man Challenge as soon as you kill Ezra Berg. Neither of these challenges have popped up for me because I had a recording error. As in, deleted the recording immediately after making it by mistake. So we're just going to make our way out of the big red barn to our left towards the ATV exit. So there you go, that's the String Quartet Challenge and the Piano Man Challenge taken care of. I have been Anubis and I will see you all in the next video.